like a hell cut. Hello friends, today our topic is we have to design a fire filter which is a linear phase filter and we have to use Hamming window. Alright, and the question given is H of omega is E raised to minus J3 alpha and cutoff frequency is between 3 pi by 4 to pi and you can see that it is a mod. Mod means if we talk about negative value because when we talk about positive value this range will remain as it is but we talk about negative value what will happen is this is minus omega now we need omega so what we do is multiply minus on both sides but it will change the sign now so this is the second range so let's plot now this is mod h of omega this is omega this is x this is y axis all right now first is 3 pi by 4 then pi when we talk about positive value you can get that orally so it ranges from greater than 3 pi by 4 but less than pi so this is the range when we talk about negative value greater than minus pi all right greater than minus pi but less than minus 3 pi by 4 so this is the range so we have two value and you can see that this is a high pass filter because for low frequency it is not passing and for high frequency it is passing so this is a high pass filter and we have the limits also so the first step is we have to plot the graph second step is we have to find h of n which is iir so that we can use a window and when we pass through that so when we pass h of n through a window we get h of n which is fir so is the answer so i hope the steps are clear to you the first step plot plot was easy now we will find h of n using the trick window we know what is the formula for the window and we can get the answer so basic funda is to get this h of n so let's do that first let's stop that h of n how we can find using formula so we have to use idft formula after using idft formula we have to find the value that using the integral we have to split those integral because we have two limits and after that we will get the answer after solving all of that equation we will get the answer so what you will do is h of n is equal to 1 by 2 pi that is the formula of idft this is the formula of idft all right using this formula now you will split because h of omega works between minus 3 pi by 4 sorry the lower range was minus pi higher range was minus 3 pi by 4 because limits are important if you uh, mismatch the limits the answer will go completely wrong so limits are important so it will work and it is easy raised to minus j 3 alpha into e raised to j omega n similarly it goes from 3 pi by 4 to pi all right and again e raised to minus j 3 alpha e raised to j omega n now we have to club this e raised to j omega solve this integral bring in the form of e raised to j theta minus e raised to minus j theta upon 2 j so that this can be converted into sine of theta and after solving that you will land up with the answer now why we have to solve this because in exam we have to score marks and these steps counts but when we have to check the answer we should have some trick or we should have some standardized formula so the standardized formula for this is h of n is 1 by pi n minus alpha all right sine of note carefully sine of pi this is n minus alpha minus sine of omega c n minus alpha so this is the standardized formula so you can say that this is the trick one trick one means you have to solve this formula and you know the answer so from you first write this and you know the answer now using this answer go backward direction to check whether you have solved this integration right or wrong so we have to use uh, this formula all right sin theta is e raised to j theta minus e raised to minus j theta upon 2j because from this we get the sin theta and our theta is this you can see this is our, our theta so you can get the previous step from this and from upper side you have to solve integration so that you know 
that after this this should come after that that should come and i should land at this answer so this is the trick one and this is the standardized formula so you can get the answer as it is now let's talk about these terms alpha and n and omega c these are very important now you can note that omega c first point omega c was 3 pi by 4 so we are done with this this is 3 pi by 4 now let's talk about this term this term is very interesting because alpha now alpha in question we had e raised to minus j 3 omega so alpha was 3 so this is also done now n is a positive value 0 1 2 3 4 alpha is also a constant value that is 3 so this is a integer and sine integer into pi is equal to 0 so sine of n pi if n, n is an integer that is equal to 0 so this term has reduced to 0 so final answer is 1 by pi n minus alpha minus of this term all right minus of this term so our answer is h of n is equal to 1 by pi n minus 3 because our alpha value is 3 all right and minus of this is negative value of sine of omega c the question has omega cutoff frequencies 3 pi by 4 and n minus 3 so this is our final answer so this is IIR now let's see window now the window given is Hamming window Hamming window means h of uh, let's say h of ham n is equal to 0 0.54 minus 0 0.46 cos of 2 pi n upon m minus 1 now the small n ranges from 0 to m minus 1 now your question is what is m now if you remember alpha was 3 in the question now this can be written as m minus 1 by 2 so now you get the m value that is 6 6 plus 1 that is 7 so our m is 7 so n ranges from 0 to 6 so you can find h of 0 h of 1 for hamming so if we put n is equal to 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 so that we get h of 0 h of 1 h of 2 h of 3 h of 4 until h of 6 all right let's see next step so this is the final answer what we are doing is we are finding h dash of n that is equal to h of n th that is of iir we are multiplying it with the window all right so this is the our final answer so here we will find h of n here we will find hamming of n so basically and let's say this is the n now n ranges from 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 now the trick to here is at this value we will find this value because see what happened is our answer was 1, one by n minus alpha here pi so alpha was 3 so you can see this term is n minus 3 now when n is 3 the overall term becomes infinity so we cannot get the direct value of at n is equal to 3 all right so this term we will find at the end let's check about 0 1 2 3, 4 5 6 so what will happen when you find for 0 it would be same for 6 find for 1 it would be same for 5 when you find for 2 it would be same for 4 so this is the second trick now h of n now you have the term as it is that is the term let's remind you 1 by pi n minus 3 si minus of so this is the whole minus term sine of 3 pi by 4 n minus 3 put the values n equal to 0 get the answer put n equal to 1 get the answer n equal to 2 get the answer don't put 4 5 6 because the value for 2 will be same for 4 value for, value for 1 will be same for 5 and so on so the answer for this is I have found it already so after putting the values of n equal to 0 I get this after putting n equal to 1 I get this n equal to 2 I get this all right now this would be same for 4 5 6 you can see which are the same this is the so 2 and 4 will be same and so on now for hamming I use the formula so the formula for hamming was h of ham of n is equal to 0 0.54 minus 0 0.46 cos of 2 pi n by m minus 1 because m was 7 m minus 1 is 6 
Now put the value n is equal to 0, get the first term. n equal to 1, get the second term. n equal to 3, get the third term. Fourth term, fifth term, sixth term, seventh term. There is no problem. So you can get the fourth term here. So what is the fourth term? Fourth term means n is equal to 3. And the value you get is 1. Alright? And so on. Now this value will be equal to the value for n is equal to 4. Similarly, this. Alright? So you are saving time basically. You are not calculating for 4, 5, 6. You are saving time. So this is the trick too. And respective answer you would get. So here also you will get the same. Alright? Now the important term was what is for n is equal to 3. So let's see that. Now for n is equal to 3, what we will do? We will use the IIR that is IDFT. And this is h of n for IIR. Alright. Now this is equal to 1 by 2 pi integral minus pi 2 pi. Now note that h of omega was e raised to minus j 3 omega whereas we multiplied this using e raised to j omega n now n is 3 for n is 3 so this is 3 d omega now this get cancelled now the things are simple so minus pi to pi d omega but our this h of e raised, uh, e raised to minus j omega works for only the limits so you have to change the limit only for the limits minus pi to minus 3 pi by 4 plus 3 pi by 4 to pi so after solving this you will get answer 1 by 4 and this is 0 0.25 now h of n is equal to 0 0.25 at n is equal to 3 now hamming h of ham for 3 was 1 so the overall answer of h of n for fir would be 0 0.25 so this is for n is equal to 3 let's take a recap so what we did is we found first plot so from plot we get the limits we get the two limits let's say a and b minus pi to minus 3 pi by 4 3 pi by 4 to pi second we did was finding h of n that is for iir and what we used is idft simple then we used window now what we did for window, let's say h of n. For window we need small n that is equal to 2 raised to m minus 1. To find n, we use the uh, formula. So we use the formula alpha is equal to m minus 1 by 2. So from that we found m. And so the range for n is from 0 to m minus 1. Alright. Now what we did, also we use the window formula that you know. Then we found h of n that is fir. So what we did is just a logic we had infinite valued signal that is iir because iir has no range for n so no finite range for n you can say then we multiplied it with window so window is a finite it was a finite range n is from 0 to m minus 1 after multiplying this two we get a small portion which ranges from this so what is the range of window will be the range of fir filter and this signal was for infinite so we converted into a finite so this is the design of fir filter so friends agar aapko meri video pasand aa rahi ho then do like this video share with your friends and subscribe to my youtube channel to milte hain agli video mein till then take care this is shrenik jain peace out